Great. Welcome to the channel no one watches. This is Wild Card Sunday. I'm the Blank Man, and today's wild card is Goosebumps the Game. This game came out in, like, I guess 2015, 2016, something like that. Uh, I don't know much about it, but it is that time of year, so. At that time of year, I mean the spooky player beware, you're in pretty scared. Today's drink of the day is Smirnoff Ice Original. Lemon lime or uh so I haven't played this game, so we're gonna play. Name your character. Ooh, what's our name? Let's say oh, is it all lower clay? Okay. Um Okay. Tom Cruise. Nope. Huh. Hmm. Um Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's our name? It can be R L stop. Back. It can be R L Stein. Can we be um? Gosh. <sighs> back. Back. Can we be the Rock? No. Dwayne. 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 Um, let's be <laughs> Alright, let's let's just be blank. Choose your gender. Wow, how not unprogressive of you. This guy creeps me out. We better okay, blah blah blah. If you're if you're that concerned, maybe try not to drop his stuff. Hey, for all we know, the lock got busted before I dropped it. I've heard that before. Whatever, just finish packing up this junk. I'll head back up for the rest. Ooh. Okay. Well, why is it moving company? Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Just be glad someone did. We needed the job. There's no dial. Hmm. So what about that girl? Should I call her or not? The toll booth operator? You ain't got a chance. And it's probably for the best anyway. What with our on the road years or whatever. I, I didn't say the last word. Say, you ever get creeped out driving late at night like this? What do you mean? Oh, you know, it's late. Everyone's asleep, so gotta be this thing. Sleep, get around, okay, for the shadows. This better not be about the honey car again, okay, Giuseppe? It's real, I'm telling you, real, real, maybe, but not haunted. Well, it seemed haunted at first. You, can, you can't scare me with that story, all right? Already heard it a million times. Well, good, that's not even my hairiest adventure yet. Evil genie? Heard that one? Okay, well... Zombies. Yes, I told you a lot of these. We don't gotta talk the whole time, you know. Could listen to some music. I I like to do a little bit of both sometimes. What was that? There's something in the back of our moving truck. So you gonna open it? No, I ain't gonna open it. You're gonna you're the one with all the scary adventures. But there's so much weird stuff in there. You saw it. Just open the door already, man. The dialogue is moving too quickly. Nope. Can't see anything. Satisfied? Looks like you got a new tale of war. Now you're the tipped over box. Not funny. Oh, there's something over there. What is it? Some kid? You think there's a kid in the back of the moving truck? It's slappy. Oh, ha ha ha. What? It's just a ventriloquist dummy. A ventriloquist's dummy. Let me guess. Who are you calling dummy, dummy? Classic line. The next day. It's the next day. Yes, it is. Congrats. Finally, school's out for the day and you're ready for a pleasant walk home. Those clouds look pretty bad, though. Was it supposed to rain today? You go to check the weather, but your cell phone appears to be missing. You must have left it somewhere, but where? You can examine your environment, moving the cursor to an object or area and pressing the left mouse button, then, look, then choosing look on the drop down. Okay. Drop down is your verb menu and changes based on the object. You can look directly by pressing Q or 
or even interact by pressing E. If I click. Look, gray clouds shroud the area under the, a threat of rain. Wasn't it clear this morning? Planter, you eat lunch with your friends on this planter. It's surprisingly comfortable. Okay. The door into the school building. Kids were sprinting out of it moments ago. They're probably halfway home by now. You move between areas, select an exit with the left mouse button and choose move. Drop down there. Move. There's no chance you're leaving school without your cell phone. Oh, okay, so we gotta go. With a heavy sigh, you trudge back inside. The long empty hallway. Dang, this place is messy. The long empty hallway stretches into the distance. You stop near your locker. Trusty old 402. These steel lockers are a student's home away from home. You've heard they can hold an entire freshman, but wouldn't know firsthand. All right. Your locker. With any luck, your cell phone is in there. I mean, probably not, right? Shouldn't be too hard to do. Just you need the key from your book bag? Oh my god. Uh, use? On this? This That isn't your locker. Uh, bud? Excuse me? Hold on. Open? Shouldn't be too hard. Blah, blah, blah. And then... Use... This isn't your locker, bro. Wrong? False? Incorrect? You turn the key and the lock pops open easily. You slide it off and open your locker. Boom. Thank goodness, it's your cell phone. Seemingly unharmed and fully charged. Why would it be un Why would it be harmed? You grab your cell phone and cradle it protectively against your chest. After a moment, you calm down and check the phone. Yep, it's still fully charged somehow. Looks like you have a voicemail. You click play. Hi, blank. It's mom. Just wanted to let you... Hi, Blank, it's Mom. Just wanted to let you know I'll be home later on tonight. The clients want to take us to dinner. The clients. Your brother, Chad, should be home pretty soon, so you will too, You two will need to fit for yourself. Chad? Nice. Remember, the keys under the back steps love you. Nice. Okay. Stickers. You put these stickers up at the start of the year and are already sick of them. Your brother was right. The only thing more permanent than tattoos are stickers. So stick carefully. I mean, this is clearly not a sticker. Books. These are all the books you didn't need for homework. Nice. Okay. Uh, map. Oh, look at that. Very, very nice. Use? Use cell phone on... There are multiple ways to move between areas. Try holding down on the arrow key. Use cell phone on trash? Your cell phone remains, remains unscathed thus far, and you intend to keep it that way. Okay, well, you slam the locker shut. Having a locker so close to Matt is, is more of a curse than a blessing. You end up seeing a lot of Mrs. Tooley. You'll check it out tomorrow. It's home time. Oh. Ah, move outside. You gladly leave the school building for the second time today. Nice. Who puts their phone in their locker? Who? Your phone is always on. Or it's in your backpack. The front of your school, the gate still the front of your school. The gate's still open, so you should be able to go and come and go as needed. With your phone in hand, you can now head home. Your phone has been has a map function to chart your journey. You can also call your mother, brother, or information to receive various infant hints. Okay, well, I like how the, the, the cursor drips. You walk through the gates of the parking lot. Or to the parking lot. The school parking lot is a nearly empty is near is nearly empty. As most of the school has gone home, you can finally hear the football team practicing in the distance though. You peer over, trying not to get too close so that you can you can smell it. You fail, and the reek of spoiled milk assaults you. Uh, I don't want to be that guy, but if your garbage cans are looking like this, it's not a good thing. Slime, yeah. That slime is not normal. Your mind races with thoughts of aliens, or of, of alien invasion or zombie drool. What could it be? You muster some courage and go in for a closer look. Oh, it's just someone's old milkshake. Really, really old milkshake. Wrong, false, incorrect. It would not look like that, but that's okay. Open. Gross. Push. The smell didn't deter you. The cockroaches skittering across the dumpster certainly do. What a pussy. What a beat up old car. <laughs> you wouldn't mind one just like it, but you're you're too young to drive. What a beat up old car. Okay. Uh, street. That's Ridge Lane. Kind of a sleepy little street. Taking that route home would add 20 minutes. Plus it might rain. Okay. Um. School. Dusty path. It's a rough looking gravel path. You've heard it goes to the janitor's shed, but can't be sure. You head down the path toward the janitor's shed. It's more overgrown than you expected. By the time you reach the shed, the wind's picked up quite a bit. Your cheeks stirring from the cold. Sting from the cold. What is this? 
Oh, it's the parking lot. It's even, even more desolate. Look at the weed killer that's... It's a bottle of weed killer with a handy two-setting nozzle. Let's steal this. You carefully tuck the weed killer into your bag, checking that it's set up to off. An item was added to your inventory. You can select it with the left mouse button for additional options. Use items on the inventory. Environment to solve puzzles and progress. Oh, God. It's a puzzle game. Um, knock. Your knock, your knock vanishes into the structure. You wait a moment, but there's no response. Guess he's not home. Look. The padlock looks ancient. It's covered in rust. Nice. Tools. What's the point of a shed if he's going to leave all the tools outside? It's... Ouch, you slam your fist against the lock, resulting only in, in bloody knuckles. Dang, that's tough. Okay. Um. Maybe this wasn't the, gr the greatest game? Don't forget to save your game frequently in case the unthinkable happens. Press this game and select save on the menu. Okay, save. Yes. Um. This way. Woods. You've been playing in the woods since you were little. You used to reenact movies with your brother before you grew up. You're kind of grown up now yourself. You mainly use the woods as a shortcut that you went from school. Ah. Maybe this was not the best game because we only got like 20 minutes. You hike up the well-worn paths into the woods. Ah, the familiar sights and sounds of the woods. The path leads over a bridge and turns into some trees. Oh, this is like a nice little place. Oh no, it looks like somebody lost their dog. Poor kid. Uh, take... GG, we are going to find answers to GG. Yes, I didn't read that. All right, look. If you keep heading through the woods, you'll reach your neighborhood in just a few minutes. Nice move. I got a bad feeling about it. You cross the bridge and head deeper into the woods. This is giving me Among the Sleep vibes. That is, nope. You reach a small clearing surrounded by trees on all sides. There's a weird creeping around. A weird guy creeping around. You've never seen him before. Look. That guy looks to be around 30 or so, but there's something off about him. His clothes are torn and he won't make eye contact. Taking a closer look, you notice his hair is green and kind of leafy. You see bugs crawling around beneath his clothes. Yep, hold on. Use on this guy. On a hunch, you raise the recoil and pump the trigger three times, spraying the strange figure. He recoils violently as it hits his face. Smoke rises from the wounds, and you smell something like freshly cut grass. He retreats to the, the foot of the hill before falling down and powering. Hawk? He doesn't seem to be particularly interested in conversation at the moment. Okay, well... Look, there's a clearing just ahead with a really cool tree. Maybe you should take a look. Or, you're halfway home, just a bit further down this path, and you can head up to the street. Uh, yeah, this way, bud. We're going home. Leaves crunch under your feet as you walk down the path. Oh, it's the Loser Club. The Loser's Club. This is the end of the woods. You can get to your neighborhood just up the hill. It looks like there's some kind of commotion near the tunnel. This gives me monster blood vibes. Look, the tunnel's actually a large drain pipe. The water inside stinks like old socks. Nice. You look for a way through the crowd, but it's just not happening. Okay, can I look? A bunch of kids from school are gathered around. They seem really excited about something. Speak. You ask what's going on, but Tyler Alseth just glares at you. Mind your own business, blank. Punk. I'm gonna bump the microphone as is. Tradition, mother of freaking son of a gun. Ah! I just spilt the drink of the day on my keyboard. Great. Why do I... I Okay, um, as if my keyboard wasn't sticky enough from all the other drinks I've spilt, we have to add another one. All right, let me grab some napkins real quick. We're, we're, I know this is not, I don't edit this, I don't edit this out because this is the experience. That's all this, that's all my channel really is, is, is an experience archive, an archive of my experiences when playing video games and it's got to the spill a bunch of stuff i don't know if i'm just losing coordination abilities or if what what's going on it's i literally it's the first drink of the day that we're having and it's and it's no good okay hold on okay uh look your neighborhood is just up the hill and we're moving that way with large steps you hike up the slope to your neighborhood that is the right answer the mess is as cleaned up as it's going to get without true cleaning up seals okay Almost home, you think as you step into your neighborhood. Your spirits fall immediately when you notice an accident down the street. The road is completely blocked. You'll need to find a different way around. Okay. Um, look. That moving van got into an accident. The back is open and boxes are spilling onto the street. Ah, that's not good. You hurry over to the wrecked moving van. You peer inside and see a ton of boxes along with odds and ends. The crash didn't seem to damage anything. That's... This is not good. 
A sense of dread creeps up the back of your neck. So we have a globe. You don't really see these much anymore. It's a globe, a map of the earth. Scarecrow. A really imposing scarecrow. Pumpkin head, string, straw. That doesn't have a pumpkin head. Straw hair, red bear hat. Portrait. Looks like a fancy portrait, though it's too dark to see much detail. Boxes. You'd feel pretty nosy opening up these up. Look, look inside. They're probably full of socks and underwear anyway. This book. Some nondescript books are stacked up. Encyclopedias and thesaurus, a style guide, boring stuff. Cake. Shrugging, you place it in your bag. I'm stealing right now. Shrunken head. It's one of those shrunken heads with weird olive skin, wispy hair, and high cheekbones. Its eyes and mouth are shown shut. Uh, take. You pick up the shrunken head. It's cold and slimy. Drop it into your pack. Jesus Christ. Canister. The canister of something. You have to keep your distance. That glow doesn't bode well. That's, I believe, monster blood. Uh, coffin. It looks really authentic. A thin layer of dust covers it all over. Uh, open. You struggle with the handle, but it won't budge. You do manage to kick up a thick cloud of dust. What is this? There's something right here. No? Uh, this way. Street. I feel like you shouldn't be here and decide to keep away. It's gonna send us back this way. Um, okay. So, back to the woods. You hurry down the hill, back into the woods. Okay. This is the far end of the woods, just below your neighborhood. The creek follows into a drain pipe tunnel. Talk. Uh oh. It's a small white rabbit. His fur is unkempt and he seems wary of you. Talk. You kneel down and look into the rabbit's eyes. Hey there, little fella. Amazo, I knew it. I knew it was going to be Amazo. Hmm, <clears throat> says the rabbit to your surprise. Oh, I thought those brutes would never leave. With a flash of white, the rabbit disappears under the brush. Great Scott! Doc! Are you telling me that you turned a rabbit? Into a talking rabbit? You hold your nose and slog into the tunnel, taking care to avoid stepping in the water. Because you creep into the tunnel and unnatural darkness closing in around you halfway through. You wonder if you'll make it. Um, yes. Hole. Uh, look. You peer into the darkness. Far in the distance, you hear a sound like the ocean. Yeah, no, we're going this way. So close yet so far. The wash at the, at the far end is the only source of light in the whole tunnel. Uh, move. You steal your, steal your nerves and push on, of course. This wash runs behind many of the houses on your street. You can usually find all sorts of weird junk that people have thrown out here. Old shoe. Take it, I guess. I didn't read that part. Spin. You secure the hub of the wheel and spin it with one hand. Seems fine. It clicks in everything. Can I take it? No. Chimney. Um. Wash. A steady stream of water flows out the pipe and across a riverbed of stones and cement. Path. Look. Just across the wash lies your street. You'll be home in minutes. Houses. Um. Yeah, we're going this way. You hop across the rocks at the far end and stroll into your neighborhood. Okay, why? Why? What the heck? You take several large gasps and try to calm down. That dog attacked as soon as you entered your neighborhood. Thank goodness it's on a leash. Use on the dog. You hold out the flyer after a tentative sniff. The dog snaps his vicious jaws, leaving you a split second to yank your hand back safely. You won't be doing that again. You hold the shrunken head after a tentative sniff. Okay. Shoe, oh, ooh, use. It's gonna want the shoe. He looks down at the item in your hand as if to say, get that ridiculous thing out of my face. Wrong, fuck. I'm a monster, weed killer. Okay, fine. Um, the woman doesn't look familiar. Maybe she's new in town. She's dressed extremely formally for somebody walking her dog. You nervously stammer hello to the woman who turns a disinterested eye in your direction. Sorry about the dog. She looks to have given you quite the fright. Ask about the woman, ask about the dog? Huh? Oh, no, I'm okay. Uh, what, uh, what breed of dog is she? Anyway, poodle and something else? Beefy? Yes. She's a very rare sub-breed of poodle. One prone to temperament problems. Is she dangerous? Ask about the woman. Such a pretty dog. I haven't noticed you. Such a, such a pretty dog. I haven't noticed you two in the neighborhood before. Did you just move here or something? After you ask your question, the woman looks up you up and down. You're not sure what she could be judging you for. Fifi and I are simply having a look around, getting the lay of the land. Some friends of ours come to the very, very recently. We want to know if it's a good place, though, to put down roots. The dog's constant tugging has worn away at the woman's patience, and she sighs. We must be going. Perhaps we will see you around very soon. Your house. An enormous two-story mansion looms over the rest of the neighborhood. Normally, it would be pretty awesome, but it's sitting where your normal, boring house is supposed to be. Naturally. You're definitely on the right street. You're positive this is your neighbor's house. The girl who lives here used to babysit you. A hey. Okay. Um, this way then, huh? No? Ooh? 
You move further down the side the street to stand in front of what used to be your house. What a weird thing, like a mechanic, for us to do. Let me just make sure we're still recording here, everybody. Okay. Everything is still good. All right. We're going to keep going. Because I feel like this is the beginning of the game. Open. You struggle with the knob, but it's not budging. You may as well try your house key just in case. I, it's under the... What was it under? Can I move? Grass keys around back. You should try... Okay, before giving up. Around back. Move. You hop down the street and head back toward... You head this... Okay. It's your street, but some things don't look right. Blah, 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 blah. This way. Move to the backyard. You creep along the side of your fence into the backyard. In spite of the weirdness in your neighborhood, your backyard provides a welcome retreat. A peaceful, quiet blankets the, the enclosure. Nice. Look at the grill. Just a grill. Get out of here. This is a... Farmeister Elite Ultimate Grilling System. Swing on the tire swing. You giddily run up and jump into the tire. As it flies forward and you lean back, you close your eyes and can't help but shouting, Wee! The moment passes and you reluctantly lower yourself to the ground. You hold the swing until it stops moving and step away. Life's so much more complicated now. Yes. Take the toy dino. You slip the dinosaur toy into your backpack and it might be useful later. It won't be. Take the toy truck. You jump, boom. Uh, take the spade. We Actually, that could be useful. Look. You crouch down and lean your head under the porch for a better look. Take, shake the can. You pick up the cola can and shake it, listening as the spare key clanks. So when a homeless man, sorry, when a homeless man wanders into your backyard, as it's, you know, open to the to the, the public, and is deciding to collect clank cans because he's broke and wants to recycle them, uh, to, for money, and he picks up your can that has the key in it and he shakes the key of the can by chance to hear if there's anything in there because they like the cans to be empty when they recycle them and then the key pops out just as easily as it did here and then he grabs the key and then goes inside your house you really think that's a good idea but okay yeah nope uh oh yeah take the key thank you you back out of the hole and stand up open the door should lead right into the laundry room, but it's locked. Unfortunately, this door ta this door takes a different key. What? Who? Who has a whose back door has a different key? So then the person would grab the key. I mean, I guess then at least <laughs> at least they'd be like, "What a random coincidence that this key in this can does not actually work on this house." That's incredible. You're standing on the porch of a classic haunted house. The boards creak under your feet, and the wind whistles through the bare branches of, a near, of nearby trees. Very spooky. Use on the door. You slip your house key into the lock and cross your fingers. You turn the key, and the door opens. Maybe it's your house after all. Yeah, no, I'm still not going in this house. I'm calling the cops. You pull open the heavy door and enter the house. This is without a doubt not your house. Mom would never let the entryway get this dirty. You can smell the dust and decay in the Bruh. Somehow, some way. This is interesting, guys. I feel like the game is officially starting right now. I feel like the game is officially starting right now. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit save. Yes. Um. So weird. I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do because we we've played the game, but we've not played the game. Does that make sense? Wildcard Sunday is just about kind of exploring games and trying to, you know, get a vibe for them and then, you know, potentially playing them later on in the future. But this is weird because this is like Halloween, you know, Halloween Wildcard Sunday, you know, which is like spooky games and we're supposed to get spooked, but spookiness has not happened. There's been no spook. I guess there was a couple, like, a little, you know, the, the tiny, tiny baby. Like, we understand what the game is going to be about, you know? I don't know what to do here. I think. I think we're going to end this episode off here, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see me play more of this game specifically, like you want, me to see, you want to see me finish this game, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Peace. I know it's probably a little disappointing that we didn't get in deep into the game, but like I only, I, I'm on a, I'm on a time constraint. I work a full-time job, so. This really, no one watches anyway. This is just for me. So this is as much as I really feel like playing the game. I do, I'm interested, it's, it's, I'm interested in playing the game more, but not enough to keep playing, invest more time in this, because I got other things that I want to do. I will see you next time, peace.